Chapter 2. Analyzing Food Ingredients. Corporate food industries are profiting more by manipulating ingredients in the blending of processed foods. Over the years I have seen prices rise from month to month, these concerns include the use of artificial sweeteners, high amounts of sodium, high amounts of pork, and saturated fats. And adding fake sweeteners can make you gain weight. Foods advertised as gluten-free, diet, or low in calories may have high volumes of sodium, this is damaging for diabetic, high blood pressure, and obese individuals. Organic can also mean it is high in fat or sodium, but this doesn't include organic fruits, herbs, vegetables, or meats. Defiling the cattle, fish, and poultry with antibiotics and medication, these non-proteins are another issue during the process. Early onset of puberty is associated with animal injections, which has led to a decrease in puberty and increased health diseases for girls. They are also putting less food content in cans, to add saturated sauces along with the unhealthy ingredients. Even though trans fat should have been banned in 2015, consumers need to watch for saturated fats that are also health risks. Nutrition panels were only required to list trans fats if they totaled more than 0.49 grams per serving. All the processed grocery store foods are affected by these concerns. People need a great source of natural ingredients in the process of food blends, but companies feel they can pretty much get away with being deceitful. Negative food additives mislead the consumer into increasing consumption and buying more products, and clearly, we consumers aren't getting satisfied. While the breakdown of cost demands usually falls on consumers, the process of food should become foremost important to any consumer. The long-term health benefits are never of value for manufacturers, cost demands help undermine consumer needs. These are some obvious reasons why most people are becoming obese. The result can lead to cancers, diseases, obesity, and aging. It appears we consumers need to analyze more of the ingredients. However, it would be nice if grocery stores add the total fat, sodium, and sugar amounts on the sales pages of each food item for advertising. It would probably help change or reveal many of the manufacturer's deceptive tactics. Modifications Look for organic meats and eggs certified by Animal Welfare Approved a leading advocate for humane livestock treatment. Choose natural sweeteners like magnesium-rich blackstrap molasses, if you have, type 2 diabetes, try stevia or unprocessed honey. Opt for delicious organic cereals. Natural fats like olive or coconut oil and butter from grass-fed cows. Grass-fed animals create food products with a much natural fat profile and much richer, in the brain and heart healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Buy natural foods and don't store fatty ingredients. Try Celtic sea salt and other sea salts to replace unhealthy sodium. The human diet is divided into five nutritional groups, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. A poor diet that lacks essential nutrients generally causes nutritional deficiencies. A heart-healthy diet can lower your risk of a heart attack, heart disease, or stroke. African-American men should increase the intake of food from the Mediterranean diet such as greens, seafood, and olive oil. African-American women should increase the intake of vitamin D with their meals. Replace dairy milk with soy or rice milk, almond milk is good for weight loss. The elderly need a complete source of vitamins daily along with eating natural foods. Why follow the daily nutritional guide? It will help you practice good eating habits to live an active lifestyle and live longer. Eating healthy The best approach is to adopt healthy eating habits, to get enough of the vitamins and minerals your body needs. Start analyzing each meal you eat, the healthiest meals are often the simplest. Replace junk foods with more natural fresh foods, plan your meals, and shop from a list. Become familiar with the RDA for your age, gender, and lifestyle needs. Learn what foods help you meet your nutritional requirements, and acknowledge how many calories your body needs to maintain a healthy weight. Your body knows what to do with natural foods, it acknowledges how to break the nutrients down and disperse them throughout the body. But natural foods that contain fiber and chemical elements cannot be reproduced. One way to get all the daily vitamins you need is to eat a balanced diet. A balanced diet contains a wide variety of products, including fruits, herbs, vegetables, natural fats, and protein, and whole grains. Make veggies the star of your meal. Vegetarians and vegans can get protein from beans, nuts, and seeds. A few foods that have a more nutritional value per bite are spinach and a whole grain muffin. Eggs, fruit, nuts, meat, seeds, vegetables, and whole grains are all considered whole foods. Why do most people take vitamin supplements? Vitamins and minerals are nutrients your body needs to develop growth and heal normally. Supplements include vitamins and minerals as well as herbs, botanicals, and other substances. However, people who take vitamins often eat candy, cookies, chips, donuts, hot dogs, ice cream, sugary drinks, or soda. And also, fast foods, fried and junk foods. When you don't have time to eat healthier foods, a complete source of vitamin supplements can play a role in certain risk groups. Daily goal, 
antioxidants, carbohydrates, fiber, minerals, vitamins, moderate salt, and sugar and drink plenty of water while enjoying meal times. Avoid routines and try a variety for the spice of life. Conclusion, natural foods are good. Vitamins or a complete source of vitamin supplements are also good. Eating too much pork God said don't eat the pig because it was one of the unclean animals used to clean up the earth as scavengers, and this attributes to them eating the dead flesh of animals that die upon the earth, etc. And the swine, though he divides the hoof, and be cloven-footed, yet he chook not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcasses shall ye not touch, they are unclean to you. Leviticus 11,7-8, pork is known to give anyone diseases if it is not cooked fully, and unfortunately, pigs have no sweat glands to sweat poison out of their bloodstream. Sores develop underneath their feet, and usually, they are loaded with worms. Pigs are well known to have 19 different types of parasites found on them, and a pig develops more poison than a snake does. Whether it is hog or pig both are called swine. It is in the dietary laws not to get sick from, however, this was stated in the Old Testament. The New Testament doesn't say you can't eat pork but be aware it does make a body weak. Although pork makes you weak, meat manufacturers are adding pork to products that they have already added pork to. It is becoming more about pork now than ever before, and I am not a huge fan of pork. Reducing fat bake skin from chicken, turkey, or ham to make cooking grease. Boil, fry, or grill fat from hot dogs, cold cut meats, or pork sausages. All methods are to decrease fat intake. What is appropriate for a healthier lifestyle? Homemade ingredients to avoid unnatural additives. Meals are made to have a large portion of fresh veggies, fruit, fish, seafood, and a small portion of other meats. Try having fresh fish or seafood for dinner every three days fresh veggies and fruit every day. Also, to avoid high amounts of sodium, eat less pork as possible and the small portions of pork ought to be cooked fully. Try homemade juices, natural salts, and sugar. Use whole wheat for bread, pasta, and to make sweets try wheat flour. For mashed potatoes or potato salad try fresh potatoes to avoid unnatural additives. Add beans or rice on days you need to change up to or add them to meals. Plan long term as well as short term. Some fresh vegetables and all meats can be put in a plastic bag to freeze. If you aren't going to cook and eat, fresh foods refrigerate or freeze to avoid spoilage. The meals below can be shipped around in any order needed. Most importantly remember to eat in moderation. Example of a 30-day plan. 01. Homemade breakfast burrito with egg, turkey bacon, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade pizza with lean hamburger, fresh veggies, fat-free cheese, and fruit. 02. Homemade breakfast burrito with eggs and turkey sausages. For dinner, homemade chicken breast burgers with wheat bread, fresh fruits, and fresh veggies. 03. Cereal, fat-free milk, and pastries. For dinner, homemade salmon salad, homemade chips, fresh veggies, and fruit. 04. Cereal, fat-free milk, and pastries. For dinner, homemade roast, macaroni salad, fresh veggies, and fruit. 05. Oatmeal, fruit, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade chicken tenders, fresh veggies, and fruit. 06. Homemade eggs, turkey bacon, toast, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade fish with potatoes, fresh veggies, and fruit. 07. Homemade egg casserole, turkey sausages with fat-free cheese, tomatoes, green pepper, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade slice of steak, macaroni salad, fruit, and veggies. 08. Oatmeal, fruit, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade wheat pasta with lean hamburger, salad, and fruit. 09. Homemade breakfast burrito, eggs, turkey bacon, and fat-free milk. For dinner, seafood, fresh veggies, and fruit. 10. Homemade breakfast burrito, eggs, turkey sausages. For dinner, homemade hot chicken wings, potatoes, fresh veggies, and fruit. 11. Cereal, fat-free milk, and pastries. For dinner, homemade roast, greens, cornbread, and fresh veggies and fruit. 12. Cereal, fat-free milk, and pastries. For dinner, homemade fish burger with wheat bread, homemade chips, fresh veggies, and fruit. 13. Homemade eggs, turkey bacon, toast, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade hamburger lasagna, salad, fresh veggies, and fruit. 14. Homemade egg casserole, turkey sausages with fat-free cheese, tomatoes, green pepper, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade fried chicken, fresh veggies, and fruit. 15. Oatmeal, fruit, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade seafood with wheat pasta, fresh veggies, and fruit. 16. Homemade breakfast burrito, eggs, turkey bacon, and milk. For dinner, homemade slice of steak, potatoes, fresh veggies, and fruit. 17. Homemade breakfast burrito, eggs, and turkey sausages. For dinner, homemade grilled barbecue chicken, fresh veggies, and fruit. 
18, cereal, fat-free milk, and pastries. For dinner, homemade fried fish, macaroni salad, fruit, and veggies. 19, cereal, fat-free milk, and pastries. For dinner, homemade pizza with lean hamburger, fresh veggies, fat-free cheese, and fruit. 20, homemade eggs, turkey bacon, toast, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade roast, mashed potatoes, salad, wheat rolls, fresh veggies, and fruit. 21, homemade egg casserole, turkey sausages with fat-free cheese, tomatoes, green pepper, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade seafood, macaroni salad, fresh veggies, and fruit. 22, oatmeal, fruit, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade lean hamburgers with homemade chips, fresh veggies, and fruit. 23, homemade eggs, turkey bacon, toast, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade baked chicken, green beans, salad, fresh veggies, and fruit. 24, homemade breakfast burrito, eggs, turkey sausages. For dinner, homemade fish burgers, fresh veggies, and fruit. 25, oatmeal, fruit, and fat-free milk. For dinner, a homemade slice of steak, fresh veggies, and fruit. 26, cereal, fat-free milk, and pastries. For dinner, homemade lean hamburger and sausage lasagna, salad, fresh veggies, and fruit. 27, cereal, fat-free milk, and pastries. For dinner, homemade fish, mac and fat-free cheese, fresh veggies, and fruit. 28, homemade egg casserole, turkey sausages with fat-free cheese, tomatoes, green pepper, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade chicken tenders, potatoes, fresh veggies, and fruit. 29, homemade breakfast burrito, eggs, and turkey sausages. For dinner, roast, greens, cornbread, fresh veggies, and fruit. 30, oatmeal, fruit, and fat-free milk. For dinner, homemade seafood with wheat pasta, fresh veggies, and fruit. Traditional meals for Thanksgiving and Christmas are still unique. Homemade is the goal and less pork. USDA Plant Hardiness Zone Chart. Alabama. 7 to 9 Alaska. 1 to 8 Arizona. 4 to 10 Arkansas. 6B 8A. California. 5A 11A Carolina. 5B 9A Colorado. 3-7A Columbia. 5B 8A. Connecticut. 5B 7A Dakota. 3A 5B Delaware. 7A 7B Florida. 8A 11A. Georgia. 6A 9A Hawaii. 9A 13A Idaho. 3B 7B Illinois. 5A 7A. Indiana. 5B 6B Iowa. 4B 6A Kansas. 5B 7A Kentucky. 6A 7A. Louisiana. 8A 10A Maine. 3B 6A Maryland. 5B 8A Massachusetts. 5A 7B. Michigan. 4A 6B Minnesota. 3A 5A Mississippi. 7B 9A Missouri. 5B 7B. Montana. 3A 6A Nebraska. 4A 5B Nevada. 4A 10A New. Hampshire. 3B 6A. New Jersey. 6A 7B New Mexico. 4B 9A New York. 3B 7B Ohio. 5B 6B. Oklahoma. 6A 8A Oregon. 4B 9B Pennsylvania. 5A 7B Puerto Rico. 11B 13B. Rhode Island. 5B 7A Tennessee. 5B 8A Texas. 6B 10A Utah. 4A 9A. Vermont. 3B 5B Virginia. 5A 8A Washington. 4A 9A Wisconsin. 3B 5B. Wyoming. 3A 6A. Foreign Countries Plant Hardiness Zone. Africa. 7 to 13 Australia. 1 to 7 Asia, South. 1 to 13 Canada. 0A 8A. China. 1 to 11 Europe. 3 to 10 India. 1 to 13 Japan. 3A 11B. Russia. 1 to 11 USA System. 6 to 11. Water Consumption. Health Benefits of Water. Water is the body's principal chemical component and makes up about 60% of the body weight. The body depends on water to survive. Every cell, tissue, and organ in the body needs water to work properly. For example, water. Gets rid of wastes through urination, perspiration, and bowel movements. Keeps your temperature normal. Lubricates and cushions joints. Protects sensitive tissues. Lack of water can lead to dehydration, a condition that occurs when you don't have enough water in your body to carry out normal functions. Even mild dehydration can drain your energy and make you tired. You can stay hydrated by drinking water and other fluids whenever you feel thirsty. For some people, fewer than 8 glasses a day is enough, but others might need more. The amount of water a person drinks differ from doctors to nutritionists depending on who you ask. 
water recommendations are different for men and women. According to the Food and Nutrition Board of the Institute of Medicine, men should aim for 3.7 liters, or about 125 ounces, which is a little more than 15 one half cups of water each day. Women need 2.7 liters daily, which is roughly 91 ounces of water and a little less than 11 one half cups. Some nutritional authorities advise drinking 8 8 ounce glasses of water a day. That's easy to remember, and it's a reasonable goal. If you can find a daily water intake calculator online it can give you specifications. Addiction to ingredient contents and addiction is a condition or fact of being addicted to a particular activity, object, or substance. Addictions to ingredient contents affect motivation and willpower to overcome anything, due to the mental or physical conditions involved. A person who is already in a habit of eating unhealthy foods is more likely to develop other negative habits. Addictive ingredients alcohol, fats, illicit drugs, material stuff, sodium, sugar, or prescription medications. These addictions can affect behavior patterns and the overall quality of health. The difference between an addiction and a habit. Addiction, it consists of a psychological slash physical component. The person is unable to control aspects of the addiction without help, due to the mental or physical conditions involved. Habit, it is done by choice. A person with a habit can choose to stop, but they must want to. And it doesn't exist as a psychological slash physical component. With a habit, you are in control of your choices, with an addiction you are not in control of your choices. An addiction can attribute to arrogance, depression, failure, fear, flesh defilement, low self-esteem, manipulation, murder, rebellion, sinful sacrifices even thievery. Addiction to activities or substances can lead to serious problems at home, in public, school, and work. The causes of addiction vary considerably and are not fully understood. They are caused by a combination of circumstantial, emotional, mental, and physical factors. Food ingredients went from green herbs and fruits to less unnatural added ingredients in the process of preparing meals. But the unnatural meals also have the highest ingredients content. People who value ingredients may have an addiction to fat content and may be unwilling to process ingredients themselves. With them, any amount or type of fat content fills the addiction. People who value additives can process the additives themselves, and this will help to change the habit. If you process the ingredients yourself, you are more likely to leave out any unhealthy ingredients. Example of added ingredients Alcohol ingredients went from moonshine or bootleg whiskey to flammable ingredients that are found in liquors. The amount per flavor ingredient increase with change with either. Moonshine's necessary ingredients, 2.5 pounds of cornmeal, 10 pounds of sugar, 10 gallons of water, and one half an ounce of yeast. Flammable means it is easy to set on fire. This includes cocktails and mixed drinks containing high-proof alcohol. A few flammable liquors. Absinthe, 74% alcohol and it is usually diluted with water. Rum, it is 151 proof and 75.5% alcohol per volume. Sambuca, it is 84 proof and 42% alcohol. Tequila, higher alcohol content is used also fire with alcohol. Combining fire with alcohol can be dangerous. Liquor with 40 to 50% alcohol or 80 to 100 proof, has flashpoints of about 80 degrees which means it ignites easily. A flashpoint is the lowest temperature where a liquid mixture vaporizes and catches on fire. Drug ingredients went from cannabis or marijuana to flammable ingredients for drug use. Cocaine, heroin, meth, and phencyclidine, PCP, are some flammable illicit drugs. All are very hazardous to human health. Prescription medications went from morphine to drugs with fewer benefits for human health. Note, people using high-proof alcohol and flammable illegal drugs, and also live around natural gas use. Proper precautions must be taken to ensure safety. Is natural gas flammable? When released compressed natural gas will mix with air and become flammable, only when the mixture is within 5 to 15% natural gas. When the mixture is less than 5%, the natural gas doesn't burn. Chemically it normally consists of over 90% methane with smaller amounts of butane, carbon dioxide, methane, propane, and other trace gases. The low carbon content of methane also allows for the potential of low carbon and greenhouse gas emissions. Natural gas has safety advantages compared to gasoline and diesel. It is non-toxic and has no potential for ground or water contamination in the event of a fuel release. Gasoline and diesel burn at much lower concentrations and ignite at lower temperatures. Statistics showed in the US, 21.5 million people 12 or older had a substance abuse disorder in 2014. 1.9 million had a substance use disorder involving prescription pain relievers, and 586,000 had a substance usage disorder involving heroin. Drug overdose is the leading cause of accidental deaths. There were 47,055 lethal drug overdoses in 2014. Opioid addiction accounted for 18, 8,893 overdoses death related to prescription pain relievers. While heroin accounted for 10,574 overdoses. 
it has been estimated 23% of individuals who use heroin develop an opioid addiction. Opioids are a class of drugs that includes illicit drug heroin as well as illicit prescription pain reliever codeine, fentanyl, hydrocodone, morphine, oxycodone, and others. There were 467,000 adolescents addicted to non-medical pain relievers, and 168,000 addicted to prescription pain relievers in 2014. Statistics showed women may become addicted to prescription pain relievers quicker than men, and they tend to use them longer than men. Though Obama took drastic measures to decrease opioid and heroin addictions in 2016. Addictions History 01. Alcoholism with beer was first a problem in 3500 BC in ancient Egypt. 02. Cannabis was used for medicine in 450 BC in ancient Greece. 03. Opium and alcohol with addictions During 1100, 1400 AD Middle Age, opium was the first used in 5000 BC for plant use. 04. Morphine in 1803. 05. Hypodermic with a needle was an addiction in 1853. 06. Cocaine in 1859 was first used for medicine, before the added ingredients. 07. Heroin in 1874 was first used for medicine, before the added ingredients. 08. Amphetamines in 1887 were popular in the military. 09. The US and worldwide drug use resulted in an increase in violent organized crime in the 1920s. 10. Fencyclidine, PCP, was called angel dust in 1926. 11. Marijuana in 1937 was outlawed. 12. LSD in 1938. 13. The freestyle culture used LSD, mushrooms, and marijuana in the 1960s. These addictions add up to about 100% of each household's conflict today. People with addictions to ingredients tend to develop excessive behavior patterns. And recklessness is the result after that, however, recklessness ruins lives and endangers the safety of innocent people. Recklessness shows signs of wickedness, and it can lead to judgment. To avoid judgment, follow and trust the presence of God's word. The word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Hebrews 4.12, because no nation is exempt from the wrath of God.